Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is the Road to the Record, Whoa, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the Decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. Alright, so this is Pro Cycling Manager 2017, and we have an interesting situation here. This is stage 6 of this race, the last episode. Uh, we watched the first three stages. We were 22nd overall. Our teammate moved into the overall race lead on that last but stage, happens, beating us back in the uh, to the finish line on that time trial. We were second overall there. And left to push. Uh, so, uh, you see that? You can here read in the this pain the, on the faces uh, at the back of the, the peloton. There's a growing number of riders of left behind. This six stage race, Vekov was still the overall leader. And Again, crashed an not once locked. but twice. The to break apart. Uh, here in this stage. Oh, there we go. We're done. We're done. Push. Just give everything you got. Uh, oh, and the peloton just caught us too, right on the finish. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> We're gonna finish uh, third. Superb it looks like. Sprint victory. He was the strongest at the last. Yeah, third place. Off. It's going to be Maybe. very fast. I can't decide whether we're third or fourth. Oh, look at that text get all jumbled. Ooh, that's ugly. Oh, no. <laughs> Glitch! Finish third. All right, We're well, we end up third on the stage to today. Uh, so, we were set to work for the team for this stage. And that is exactly what we were doing. We were running at the front uh, when the second of those crashes happened. The first crash, we were running on the front. And Vetkov immediately was like, oh, slow down, slow down. So we back off, uh, and the field slows up a bit. He catches back up to the field. Well, the second time, the crash happens just behind us. And the moment it happens, we find ourselves 30, 40 seconds ahead of the peloton in, in just a matter of moments. Uh, and we, we were at an accelerated speed at the time. And I go to back off and slow down to let the field catch up to me. And then I notice that Vetkov has withdrawn, which makes us uh, the highest placed rider on the team. And saw that the field was all kinds of split up. Oh, this poor guy. Look at that. He has uh, no lower legs. Uh, there's all kinds of glitches right here at the end of this race, though. Uh, anyway, so... We pushed on because I noticed that the breakaway group wasn't that far ahead of where I was, and it was closer to the breakaway group than it was to the peloton. So I pushed on, I caught the breakaway group, and rode with them for the final 30k of the race, hoping that there was a chance that the breakaway group would actually stay ahead. Not quite, not quite what happened. Uh, we do get caught just at the end. But everybody was exhausted in that catch at the end, and so we end up finishing, at least for the stage, on the podium in third place, and a very small group uh, left there for the end. So this We've is going to shake up the standings. We are definitely going to be in the top 20, and you can see here we are uh, just off the lead, just getting passed on the line for third. So we were looking like maybe second, but we had zero energy left. So third was a fantastic finish uh, when there was no ability for us to to hang on to speed to survive and there's one more look at it as they come around we're on the outside just <laughs> huffing and puffing along and look how small this group is so things are going to be different uh, for one Vetkov's gone and out of the race uh, so that already moves us up one spot but you can see this front group just 25 riders and then things start to break up from there coming to truth up to 14th all right well we're now the highest placed jelly belly rider going into the final stage uh, just two seconds out of 13th and it's Logan Owen. So right there, we've been with uh, neck and neck with Logan Owen throughout this race. Uh, so, 14th overall now. Second overall for sprint points. 
second overall in mountain climbers and up to seventh on the under 25 young rider standings and the team sits seventh overall despite losing our team leader all right well this is going to be an interesting uh, take from our manager work the head of the group uh, we got 17 of 20k uh, that's when the crash happened when we were at 17 and so uh, things just changed very suddenly uh, so very good uh, perfect evaluation but point standing second evaluation is excellent mountain standing second evaluation is excellent stage third evaluation is excellent so we pick up 11 percent we are back to 99 now with our boss so we have regained uh, the favor that was lost just from decay and we also pick up 52 points towards our next level we were just at the beginning of level 11 after the last race which by the way over that last stage going into this stage we leveled up all right so there is one stage left we were going to pick up with the start of stage six uh, for this episode but after what happened with Vekov, i felt i needed to go on the air right away. I need to get that recording down uh, because that was a very interesting stage and it ended pretty well for us uh, picking up a whole bunch of points, getting a third place finish and jumping into the top 15 of the overall standings and taking over uh, the team lead at least for the overall. So we'll see if we are seen as team leader on this final day uh, or if they are going to give up all hope. I would imagine if we're in the top 15 uh, that we should be given uh, the role of team leader for this final stage of this six stage race uh, here in Canada. Oh and our average, I did not notice that. Uh, we didn't get major improvements uh, to our overall standings with that level up. Uh, time trial went from 70 to 71. Uh, Mountain and Hill both gained plus one. I think Flat gained plus one. And there was uh, a couple of, of these, like stamina, resistance, and so on, that gained uh, one level. So overall, it was enough to make us a level 70 now, which is now second on the team. We moved ahead of Taylor Sheldon. And Vekov, who just crashed out, uh, was the only one to came on. Let's take a look at the briefing for today. It's another time trial? No. Wait, I'm very confused. Why does it show that we are... Did we leave the tour or are we going to do both? We're at the USA Championships individual time trial right now. Sure, how that happened. Was that the last stage? I gotta take a look at the results. Uh, There we go. Tour de Bois and stage. That was stage six? I thought that was stage five. Okay, well, I totally missed something there. <laughs> I was already on the last stage. We worked as a team, uh, teammate, stage four. Oh, um, stage five was flat. Oh, wow. Okay, well. <laughs> So, I, I made a mistake. Uh, stage five was a flat stage, and we were given uh, free element rain, but again, like it was on stage one, if you watched the last episode, uh, the field was not interested in me uh, joining the breakaway. They raced their butt off to catch up to me, so I ended up just staying in the field, uh, and, wasn't made to work so I was allowed to conserve energy for the stage and as a result I had plenty of energy at the end 
and I was up near the front of the field uh, with plenty of energy to burn, so I pushed hard. I ended up with a top 10 finish. I'm not a sprinter, so I wasn't about to win, uh, but I finished just behind my teammate, Vic Cove. Uh, and so, yeah, sure enough, I was, uh, that was the final stage that we were just watching, uh, where uh, our teammate, Vic Cove, uh, crashed out, uh, leaving us for a third place on stage, uh, a 14th in the overall standings, and second in the sprint points, second in the mountain climber, and top 10 on the under 25s. Uh, so, since we're at it, let's take a look at the standings now and see if there's any change. Uh, my Decathlon gaming competition, if you're only watching uh, Pro Cycling Manager videos, that's perfectly fine tracking this progress and just seeing where I'm at. Uh, but for me, I'm competing in 10 games. I'm trying to be the best I can be at each of those 10 games. And for Pro Cycling Manager, uh, my potential 1,000 points are based off of the Super Prestige. So I divide by five for each point. Uh, you get a lot more points when you're in the higher class uh, classification. Fabio Aru, uh, is currently the overall leader. Chris Froome is second uh, around the world, so everybody's put together on that. And let's see where I fit in. We last had 58 points, which was 11 points for my uh, Game of Decathlon competition, which is very little when I'm trying to get to 1,000. Uh, we did pick up three points. Uh, so we at least got to point number 12 here on that last race. Again, I only gained three points points uh, for two second places on jerseys and a 14th overall a second on one stage and a third on another and a ninth on yet a third stage uh, and we only managed to pick up three super prestige points so that's what continental racing will do to you it's hard to pick up more than a handful of points unless you're ra racing somewhere outside of that so we are on to the national time trial uh, for the US, uh, uh, usa so we are uh, and this is one of our objectives for the year. Uh, we are now at an average of 70. And we are headed to Greenville, North Carolina. Sorry, I'm a West Coast person. Uh, the geography is not perfect. Where's Greenville, South Carolina? It's one of the Carolinas. Should be. So we are seen as an outside favorite. I think I just noticed us on the top 10, though that went by pretty quick. These time trials do tend to load a little bit faster. Plus, when you are on your national time trial, oh, see, we're only asked to finish in the top 30. Uh, we are going to be the last one to go for our team. And yeah, let's take a look at the profile. So. Uh, the climbing is on the front side. Uh, we've got to conserve energy on the back side. There's one extra climb there at the end that we need to keep a push for. Plus, we want to be able to push on the flat at the end. Uh, we're definitely going to be in conserve energy mode uh, from the top down to here uh, to recover. So we are going to be below halfway. So this one will be tough to judge because we definitely want to push on that hill and gain time but we don't want to run out of energy completely where we can't push at the end. Uh, looking at the map, wind is 12k and it is blowing in the direction that we're going to be going, especially on the downhill side, so that's going to be boost us even further. There goes Joe Dombrowski, a very good rider. There you go, Logan Owen, who we just raced against, is seventh overall. Uh, Andrew Talansky, one of the American favorites uh, in real life. Uh, Andrew Talansky of Cannondale Team Drat Pack uh, is a minute ahead of Costa. Uh, we're getting closer to Argo. I 
Bennett just headed out. Last teammate before we get our start. Uh, Sheldon is 13th overall right now, but none of our teammates are in the top 10, and I think Sheldon was the next best uh, time trialist besides ourselves. Uh, Logan Owen looks like they're about to slip out at the top 20. I know I keep pointing out Logan Owen, but but Ryder's been on my team so many times. Joe Dombrowski, I get when I can. It's another Cannondale Ryder. Uh, I've had him on a few of my teams when I do the full team management. All right, so we don't want to push too much right now. I want to conserve a little energy before we hit the hill. Ooh, ouch, ouch. Race day condition. Minus three. Uh, at least the time trial is only a minus two compared to that prologue right next to it. Ugly, but stamina, resistance. We are hurting today. So really, a top three is actually uh, probably what we're looking at. Uh, we are conserving the energy that we wanted, and we are about to climb, so we're going to start pushing it. And uh, I'm going to go through this a little bit faster because uh, we are not going to be that competitive today. We'll be lucky to finish in the top ten. Uh, we have a real struggle on our hands with our uh, race day condition, so not feeling too well today. We're not full-on sick. That would be a minus five, but uh, definitely stiff, sore, tired. Uh, from that, the riders are going through a very tough portion with percentages finished. above 10%. Okay. Here's where we can really gain the most time, so we are not going to be shy about pushing it here, uh, especially on this last climb after this false flat that we're on right now. And here we go. So we're going to definitely uh, try to pick up some time here to the top. And we are over the top with not much energy burned, but we are a minute off the pace. Uh, 16th at the checkpoint. Still got a little bit of a climb here, and then now we're going to drop. We're going to save some energy. I don't want to burn too much in here, uh, even though there's that little false flat right there. But we want to wait until we're at the bottom before we're going to really uh, step on the gas again. Uh, now we're back on the plus side of energy versus distance. One more flat area. Oh, and it's starting to rain. Uh, that's another thing that's going to plague us over riders that have already run the race. Now we're at the bottom, and we've got plenty of energy to push. And here's that last little climb that I want to have this strong over the top of this one quick. Uh, Cunning. Now we'll be able to gain that little bit of time back, and we should be able to go hard like we are now, pretty much all the way to the end. This is that last little climb. Now it's downhill or flat all the way to the end, and we did uh, time it just right here where we can really push this thing. We got 3k to go all over flat terrain, and we're able to ride pretty hard uh, to the end. Oh, I did go too hard here. We're, we are going to overdo it just slightly. 1k to go, though. And pushing all the way to the end. We do run out of energy just before the end, but it's not going to slow us down too much on the finish. Hey, we get up to fourth place. 52 seconds off pace uh, from Andrew Talansky's wonderful time. That is still 36 seconds ahead of anybody else. Uh, I do know who Larry Warbass is, but that's not a well-known writer. The oh, there goes TJ Van Garbage. Uh, <laughs> putting 35 seconds on Tolansky. No surprise there uh, by Van Garderen uh, and Tolansky. They, those are uh, widely known as the top two writers in the U.S. Uh, Nielsen Paulus is seen as uh, what I'm trying to be in this game. That writer of the future, stage racer, future champion, uh, Nielsen Palace carries that title in real life. And we finish fifth on the stage. We were only expected to finish inside the top 30. So despite our horrible race day condition, uh, we end up with a wonderful top five finish in our very first go uh, at the USA Championships for the individual time trial. Uh, fantastic performance. Uh, I mean, you look at... Uh, overall team team jelly belly right there in sixth 
place. What a great finish for us. I mean, Trek. Look at that. Trek Segafredo. Uh, 10 overall. Horrible day for them. Uh, they should have been uh, at least top three, as there are three uh, American teams in the uh, Pro Tour race, uh, or Pro Tour level. And BMC and Cannondale are the other two, and they finish right on top, just like they should. Uh, but no Trek riders anywhere near the front. Alright, so fifth place. Uh, well done. Go us. All right, that is your satisfaction. Hits 100%. Uh, probably would have been a lot more than one. I mean, we picked up 51 points of progression uh, for finishing fifth overall, especially when we were only uh, looking for a top third finish. And that was with low, low race day condition, minus three on the day. Uh, nice. I'm pretty stoked by that finish. All right, well, it looks like we are slated uh, to also race for the uh, the stage race for the Nationals. Uh, here's where I'd feel fortunate to finish in the top 30. Uh, that time trial, that is our strength right now. Uh, we're definitely a lot further on for uh, the time trial than we are for uh, our overall stage racing ability right now, uh, and that's definitely shown from our string of strong performances in time trials uh, over the course of this season. Looks like we have another objective set uh, for this, so the team cares a lot about the uh, USA Championships, uh, both the race and the time trial. Uh, we certainly help the team with that top five performance uh, on the time trial. But will we be able to do the same for the stage race? We'll soon find out. Are going to be, uh, we were selected by the team to race. Uh, same seven drivers, uh, riders actually. Uh, so our team is very much interested in participating regardless of finish. And we are the strongest of those. Looks like Vekov actually might be out injured. Um, I haven't had a chance to look at that though, so we'll have to take a look. Uh, we do have some fatigue that's going to hold us back today. Race day condition looks to be a minus two. That we are far from full strength right now. Gardarin is racing. Uh, he could be seen as a favorite today. Uh, Chelansky, definitely a favorite. Uh, this race in Montpellier. Hello is and welcome. A the profile one. of the route is a fairly uh, mixed bag, it's, so everybody it's a loop should find track, a section but it's to their pleasing. Got some the weather conditions to it. are excellent. We are free element. Uh, there is no team leader here, so everybody's kind of given, given a chance. I mean, we're picked to run, uh, instead of for the overall, run as a free element and get some exposure for the team. Uh, he moves on to the a attack! No There's no real sense to it, here. but at least he gets a mention. There's only one rider away right now, if I can join him two-man breakaway would definitely do for the team uh, what they're hoping for so away we go look out he's uh, breaking away we have no leader role on the day so as a result we're not going to get support of the team anyway all right so three riders are away now uh, and that third one was already caught and no it looks like they're trying to still break away all right, we'll wait until we get over this peak. Uh-oh, the gap is widening. It's now more than two minutes. The peloton seems content to let it grow. Uh, we are slowly gaining on uh, the leader right now. And a third rider is off front, so it looks like we might be forming a three-man breakaway. Uh, as long as we're still slowly gaining on him, I'm not going to push uh, 
much harder. We would conserve energy and just catch them in time. And meanwhile, the overall, we're almost two minutes ahead, so they are letting the three of us get away. Uh, unlike at that continental level where we're already starting to be uh, recognized as a competitive racer here amongst some of the best racers in the world. Some of. They're, they're not at the very top, but TJ Van Garderen has had uh, what, fourth, fifth place finish at the Tour de France? A handful of years back. Uh, he's not the team leader since uh, Richie Port came over. The pack is increasing uh, its work rate. Team Some teams BMC, can't be happy with the breakaway. Uh, Van Garderen certainly had his string of respectable performances and won a number of races over the years. Okay, uh, we need to get ourselves here uh, into working with the group. So we have formed up three-man breakaway. We are over two minutes ahead. So we are going to complete the team objectives today, being off the front of the race. Uh, the team not working to, uh, at least three riders not working terribly well together at the moment. Well, here's that climb. They don't want to take the climb too heavy, too hard. They're, they keep slowing down. Some team managers mustn't appreciate the fact that well, there is a breakaway, given that the pack backwards. has increased its speed. The riders are in a portion above 10%. All right, well, we're leading the way over the top. We're definitely the strongest climber from the three, no doubt about it. And they're, they're wanting to get all the way down to a, a 39 because of how steep it is. Means we're not going to get away from the field terribly well. They're wanting to restore energy. The pack is beginning to cut down. the lead. There's a sustained rhythm at the moment. Some riders definitely won't be able to keep up. Down to 30. I might leave these guys behind and right off on my own if they're going to not even try. Gentle ride over the top and then coast all the way down. This is a race. the only spot that they want to turn it on because here we go to the climb again and they're they're just going to back right off i might leave these guys right behind oh, now they're wanting to stay up here this climb features some dreadful percentages you gonna stick with me this time anyway Stretch this lead out a little bit. Get up over three minutes. And if we're going to have any chance of winning today, we're, it's going to have to come from a substantial lead. I'm not just looking for team exposure here, but, I mean, come on. We're all the way down to a 27. Let's not even try it, guys. Let's try. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, well, that's three times over the climb. We've got, what is that, nine more to go? So we're a quarter of the way through this race, and we have a worthless pair of riders with us. Uh, there's some point here that I might just leave them in the dust and go off on my own. Well, now they're racing a lot harder, so I don't know what got into them. And now they're racing soft again. <laughs> yeah. They're annoying the crap out of me. I'm, I might just try to see if I can't leave them in the dust here one of these times uh, on this climb. So we're not getting out away from the field at all. Next time, I think I'm going to try to leave these guys behind. Let's go ahead and recover that little bit of energy. I'm not going to work with them right now because they're not working with me. I'm doing all the work. See, they're going right back to not doing anything. 
I'm gonna give it one shot, just one. Let's see if they'll let me get away from them, or whether they'll work to keep up. Okay, we'll wait for that steepest part. It's in such percentages that the strongest can create some gaps. Now this time they're racing hard. The pack deficit is being cut back. The breakaway is not to everybody's liking. The peloton has significantly increased its speed. So now we're only a minute ahead. Now the guys up front are asking serious questions of the riders in the rear as and more of them are left in the wake. And dropped. Boy, they, that peloton right now is just 23 riders. I know some of them are going to come back together as they go over the top. See, they're already back to 53, but looks like one group might be lost. Now they're only 49 seconds back from the front of the peloton. They should be able to catch them. Yeah, now it's just four. Oh, that's two of the our stage. That are It's a good time to take some food. Behind. Oh, there's multiple groups off the back now. There's more than a minute on the clock. The break seems All to be right, working. There. A couple of teams have set themselves up as pacemakers for the pack. They obviously don't have anybody in the breakaway group. This climb is feared by many riders. The percentages are very high. See if they let us get away, if they're going to try to catch up. We're at 27 seconds now. 28. Well, looks like they've decided they want to catch us. Here they come. So they decided they want to ride with me, but they just want to catch a ride. Uh, because I'm doing all the work in the group, which is, you can see one of them's huffing and puffing pretty bad now. Those shoulders swaying. Number 73 there. Ah, see, these guys cannot make up their mind. They race really hard for for quick moments and then they no effort at all for long long periods of time uh, at least the, the breakaway just objective reeled in the escape group gone 75 percent oh now i am technically rate. off the some front teams can't be myself. happy with the breakaway the riders are going through a very tough portion with percentages above 10 percent oh my right, the guys up front the aren't going to be now. making too many friends today which is down to just 26 riders up over the top this time. 23. 21. Group shrinking, not growing. Okay, 26. Few riders caught us over the top, but not many. So the group is much smaller. Four more times over the climb. Uh, and our energy is a bit low, but not terribly low. We could still have a decent finish on the day. Uh, the one sad thing is we didn't not get to 100% of our objective, but 75 is still good. We've got just one third of the race left to run. Now is not the time to give up watching. All right, uh, I think we're going to just try to hang with the group to this climb. Uh, maybe over the top, if we're still near the front, still have some energy. Maybe we'll push off and try to get back out uh, to a lone breakaway. The riders are going through a very but tough portion with percentages now, above 10 so percent. We could be looking at a top 25 finish in the national championships. Uh, oh, oh gosh, there goes our energy. I don't think we're going to be looking at that. We're going to be one of the ones dropped here real soon. Uh, we do get over the top, so we are going to recover some, a little, maybe. Uh, but I think we're going to get dropped on this next climb. So no, no breakaway for us. Recovery is over and already shrinking. Yeah, we're going to get dropped on this next climb. Uh, it is down to 24 riders, so we still may finish in the top 25. Uh, Sheldon is the only other rider from the team left, and he certainly wasn't in any breakaway. Right, we're going to slow down slowly. There it goes. It's in such percentages that the we're strongest the can create some gaps. But here we go. We're going to get dropped. 
just 21 riders left on the front. We're that next rider back. Two-man group. Got to recover a little bit on the way down here, and then I uh, can go into relay mode. Okay, now it's three riders. I'm not being helped on this relay. Uh, just two riders, so I actually just left one of them behind. So it looks like we could be looking at, say, 22nd, 23rd place finish. Uh, just two more times over the climb. It's not a great finish, but top 25, first time. Uh, with low race day condition and most of it spent uh, this climb in features the some dreadful percentages. Come on, let's get over the top here. Get over the top. They lost one more rider at the front. We're lucky we could catch him. Now he's pulling away from us. Uh, Sheldon looks to be kind of hanging on to the back of the group now. Alright, back into energy conserve mode. See if we can't hang on to the back of this rider for a little bit. Somebody else has caught back up to us now. Alright, energy is restoring one more remaining. time over this climb. Uh, we only have 30 seconds to a group of 11, so if I'm going to stay ahead of them, got to work it here here on this last climb. Go into relay mode. Let's see, I have a 74. Should help us stay strong enough to get most of the way over the climb before we run out of energy. We can recover one last time on the downhill. The riders are in we just got to make sure 10%. that behind us doesn't catch up. Uh, they're only 20. Ah, they caught us. There's now just 10 kilometers left. And there goes our energy. Push over the top, over the top. There we go. Okay, just three of us again. Same three. So that group behind kind of just reached us but couldn't hang on. The finish on. line is getting close. The riders just passed the five kilometers road sign. 4K to go. We're going to slow things down for the finish. Uh, we have 4.5K to go. Uh, we are still we're recovering here. Uh, 21 riders are ahead. This looks like somebody who has lapped, actually. 3k to go. Again, we're still looking, hopefully, for a top 25 here, as long as we don't get beat in a sprint by a group behind us. And they're off! It's going to be very fast! Okay, the rider in front of us has taken off. Uh, Rider behind us is starting to take off. We've got just enough for Superb a little sprint, sprint there. Victory. We are just he over. was the strongest at the last. There's we're waiting for the tailenders who continue to arrive. Oh, we're riding through the invisible car. There's the finish. Looks like we're going to get 23rd. Yeah, 23rd on the day. Sheldon only finished 21st, and we used up all that energy uh, spending most of the day in the breakaway and doing all the work as the breakaway did not provide us any help or support. Uh, Taylor Finney wins the day. Brooke, uh, Brent Bookwalter, uh, who's Van Garderen's teammate, uh, ends up second. Uh, Van Garderen all the way back in 13th. Paulus was ninth, and Andrew Talansky was sixth. Uh, we did get top 25 today, uh, so that's pretty good performance, especially considering all that time we spent in the breakaway. Right, well, we may have picked up some points uh, from these two races uh, in the Super Prestige, especially after that fifth place uh, in the time trial. But that does it for this episode. No, I'm the Calfon Gamer, highlights. and remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe and tune in next time on my Road to the Record.